What is going on, everybody? It's your observant Lyman Uche Waneri. And sad news today uh, out of the NFL world. Uh, this is definitely uh, something that's going to be talked about. It's already hitting uh, the... Uh, it's already hitting as a, as a headline in the social media world. Uh, but today, uh, former Tampa Bay, former uh, San Diego Charger wide receiver Vincent Jackson was found dead. Uh, this is a shocking uh, uh, announcement, mainly because, uh, you know, Vincent Jackson was only 38 years old. You know, this is that's far too young uh, for someone to pass, uh, especially somebody who, like Vincent Jackson, uh, would have been an individual who's in, you know, pretty peak uh, shape from a, from a physical standpoint, and uh, you know, just really hard to explain why something like this would happen. Uh, but let's go into this article here. Got an article from uh, local uh, Tampa Tampa uh, area news uh, channel uh, WFLA. Uh, they give a quick article kind of describing uh, the situation as it's really, uh, it's fluid right now. This just broke about 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. So uh, I'm going to go through this quickly. Uh, but it says here, former Bucks player Vincent Jackson found dead in Brandon hotel room. Uh, and this is at uh, 4.29 p.m. Eastern. So uh, it was updated at 5.11, which is about nine minutes ago. Uh, but it says here, Former Tampa Bay Buccaneer and San Diego Charger wide receiver Vincent Jackson was found dead Monday at a hotel room in Brandon, according to the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Uh, Deputy said 38-year-old Jackson, who was a South Tampa resident, checked into the Homewood Suites uh, on January 11th and had been staying there since. Jackson's family reported him missing on February 10th. Uh, two days later, deputies with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office found Jackson at the hotel. Uh, he was staying, uh, uh, the hotel he was staying and spoke with them after assessing Jackson's well-being, the missing person's case was canceled. So, and this is inter an interesting piece of information. Uh, his family reported him missing. Um, and, uh, the police actually went out and they actually located him They con and they spoke with him and they deemed that, you know, wasn't a situation where it was a missing person or anything unlawful was happening. Uh, so they canceled that. Uh, but man, so many feelings I have about just from that piece of the of the information. Uh, it, I already know where this is going. I already know where this is going, but we'll continue the article. <sighs> Says Jackson was located deceased around 1130 a.m. on Monday in his hotel room by a housekeeper. The sheriff's office said there were no signs of trauma. Deputy said the medical exam examiner's office has yet to assess the cause of death. Uh, my heart aches for the many loved ones Vincent Jackson leaves behind from his wife and children to the Buccaneers nation that adored him. Sheriff uh, Chad uh, Chronister said in a statement uh, in his statement, the sheriff called Jackson a devoted man who put his family and community above everything else. Uh, the NFL community mourns Jackson football aside. He touched countless lives through his Jackson in action. 83 foundation. Uh, we shared a passion for supporting military families. And three years ago, Jackson was even made an honorary deputy uh, by the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office to recognize his dedication to the community. Uh, he will be sorely missed uh, by not only football fans across the country, but also the people here in Hillsborough County who reap the benefits of his generous contributions. Jackson, who went to college at Northern Colorado, uh, was selected in the second round of, of the 2005 NFL Draft by the Chargers. He was he was signed uh, by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2012, where he played until retiring in 2016. Jackson was a three-time Pro Bowl wide receiver, twice with the Chargers and once with the Bucks. Uh, and that is, uh, you know, what we know uh, in regard to the official statements from police right now. But also, uh, as we look here on uh, Twitter. Uh, you can see that this is absolutely uh, catching uh, catching a wave right now uh, on social media. This is the place where he was found, uh, and you know, it's 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 this is this is uh this is shocking. This is shocking. This is a little shocking. Definitely, definitely. Um, again, they're talking about his foundation here. 
Here's a look at his foundation, Jack Jackson in action, 83. Um, you know, this guy uh, had, uh, you know, he was a presence in his community as well uh, as being a respected player. So I think that there is uh, no doubt uh, that he will be missed uh, by many people who, who know uh, of him personally, as well as those of us who were fans of his. I was a fan of his. Uh, you know, I, ne I never met him personally uh, as a player, uh, but I was definitely a fan of his uh, during his time in San Diego, for sure, uh, and, and even further on uh, from there uh, in uh, during his time, uh, you know, at, at, with the Buccaneers. Um, you know, it's this is I, I really I hope that there is, uh, you know, an explanation here that that I mean, we can find out exactly what happened. Uh, I would assume that this is probably going to lead, uh, down uh, a path, uh, that has to do with maybe and likely substance abuse. Um, but also at the same time, I look at this situation and I'm thinking to myself that this likely has something to do also, uh, with, uh, brain trauma, uh, that he likely has dealt with. Uh, since his retiring, um, and that 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 is something that points more directly to a situation uh, with CTE. So um, we'll see. Obviously, they'll they'll there will be a long process to kind of uh, bring things to a close uh, from that standpoint. But man, this is uh, definitely not a story that I think anybody wanted to hear about today in regards to uh vincent jackson so i will say rest in peace to vincent jackson uh you know got to take care of ourselves out there uh you know and uh i hope that his family uh has some strength is able to be lifted up by the community uh to give them some strength uh because this guy was young 38 years old two years older than me two years older than me so uh this is going to affect uh plenty of people uh, and you know, we'll just, I'll keep, you know, try and keep, keep an ear out to hear if there's any updates, but a uh, sad moment here in the NFL, uh, in the sports world, but mainly in the NFL, uh, Vincent Jackson passed away age 38. Uh, but let me know, what do you guys think about the situation? Have you, you know, been to somebody who's maybe, uh, met him in San Diego when he was with the chargers? Maybe you met him, uh, in Tampa, uh, had any interactions with them? If you have, let me know. Leave your comments down below. Uh, and, you know, for anyone out there also, if you just want to let me, you know, leave your condolences as well, that's that's fine also. Just leave those down in the comments section. Uh, hit that like button if you like this video. I appreciate you guys very much. Uh, rest in peace. Vincent Jackson. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.